I'm currently standing on Meridine Medical's low intensity vibration plate. You may be able to hear it in my voice right now, but there are these low intensity signals that are going from my feet up to my head. It's meant to represent a non-drug means of helping musculoskeletal health in the elderly, the infirm, uh, the inactive, because the stem cells that Danielle studies are critical to the health of the immune system or the regeneration of tissues. These low intensity vibrations, they actually have the ability to alter the cell populations within the bone marrow. Um, and this low intensity vibration allows these cells to go more towards bone and away from fat. So people with poor bone quality, um, if they stand on this plate for 15 minutes a day, a few days a week, um, this plate has shown to maintain your bone um, and prevent bone loss. The low intensity vibration platform was developed here at Stony Brook University here in the biomedical engineering department and Dr. Clint Rubin actually created a device and now here at Stony Brook we have the opportunity to take this pre-existing platform and increase these applications. When uh, Governor Cuomo came to Stony Brook University and I had the opportunity to speak with him regarding uh, Dr. Clint Rubin's research and our lab and this low intensity vibration plate because this was a technology that was developed here at Stony Brook and now uh, we've taken this technology and we will have the opportunity to market it to not only people here in New York but also globally. Here is an invention that may well bring revenue back to the university, expand the size of the lab or expand the impact of the university. So in Stony Brook's case, in New York's case, they really are putting uh, the truth uh, to the test in the sense of can science, can academia truly impact the region? And I think that in Stony Brook's case, it's doing a great job.